Today we'll make beam tether. Create empty Niagara system and add dynamic beam emitter. I'll set material as I don't have gradation and set beam width. Add color module, set color. I'll change loop duration as a 3 and initial lifetime also 3, and change GPU mode. Change as a GPU mode. Check absolute beam end. And set end value as a user parameter. So we can use this in blueprint. Make blueprint actor and add Niagara system. Add sphere mesh, we will connect beam end to this sphere. In event graph, make set vector value from Niagara system. Copy beam end name to here. And connect with event tick. Bring sphere mesh and get sphere mesh's world location. And connect to beam end value. In play mode, then beam end is connect to sphere location. Even sphere is moving, beam end is follow sphere. Add curl noise force module and loop duration and lifetime set as a more short. Set beam width again, and control curl noise values again. Add sphere more and named it as a start and end. Add empty emitter, add point force module and give random values. Spawning particles and change particle size. And change alignment as a velocity in renderer. Retouch point force strength, add solve force and velocity module. Add drag module, give two value. And change initial lifetime as a random values. Add gravity force module. Copy and paste color module from the other emitter. Copy and paste spark emitter and we will use as a center glow. So set parameter like this. Add comment as a start. And copy and paste two emitters and name it end. Let's set as a GPU mode for good performance. To this emitter spawn from beam end location, 
change position as a direct set and convert as a vector from position. Input position, let set as a beam end user parameter. Then spark is spawning from the beam end. In point force module, we need to set as a particle position. Then force location is beam end. Another emitter, also copy and paste particle position as a beam and low action. In play mode, spark spawning from beam end in start position. Even we move it, works well. Center glow is too long lifetime, so I will set loop duration and lifetime as a 0.1 values. To see sparks more well, let's make two sphere as invisible. Now it is finished. This time, I made tutorial more slowly. Cause I got feedback that tutorial is too fast.